Let's take two of the world's most beloved side dishes and pump them up with more nutrition than ever before. Hi, I'm Jason Robel, plant-based chef and nutrition expert, and I'm about to take guacamole and salsa verde and infuse them with one of the world's greatest superfoods. We start by making our salsa verde, which is a green salsa. And the star of this recipe is the tomatillo. Now the tomatillo is much like a tomato. It has internal seeds. It's a little bit on the tart side and it's a little more fibrous than a tomato. But when you cook it down, it creates an amazing base for this salsa recipe. The first step in making our salsa is to take about five large tomatillos and add them to the blender. Then add three quarter cup of minced white onion, two whole cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of minced jalapeno pepper, a quarter cup of fresh cilantro, two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lime juice, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and then two big pinches of sea salt. And now it's time to process our salsa verde. So you could just pulse it a few times to leave it on the chunky side or blend for 20 to 30 seconds if you want it extra smooth. After about 20 seconds, we have a really nice consistency. It's a little bit chunky, a little bit smooth. So now transfer it to a saucepan and simmer it on low heat for about 15 minutes. Our salsa verde is looking nice and thick. Let's plate it up and let it cool to room temperature for 10 to 15 minutes while we make our guacamole. You gotta have lots of avocados to make guacamole. So when you're opening an avocado, you just wanna split it lengthwise right down the center like this, twist to open, and then take the base of your blade and carefully twist to remove the avocado pit. Now over a medium bowl, just go ahead and squeeze the avocados right in. Now, personally, I love my guacamole a little bit on the chunkier side, so I don't wanna to mash too much, just enough to break down the avocado a little bit, but still leaving a nice texture. Now add half of a minced jalapeno, half of a white onion, a half cup of diced cherry tomatoes, and one small mango peeled and diced. Now mix until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Now we're gonna add an array of really delicious savory spices to bump up the flavor a notch or two. Start with a few shakes of ground black pepper, then a half teaspoon of ground cumin, then a couple shakes of chili powder, one dash of cayenne pepper, a couple shakes of ground coriander seed, two large pinches of sea salt. And now I'm going to add three to four grams of sun chlorella absolute. Chlorella is one of the world's most potent superfoods that's full of B-complex vitamins, magnesium, iron, antioxidants, and protein. It's a great way to sneak in some extra nutrition into the guacamole and the salsa, especially if your family or your kids are resistant to healthy foods, they'll never know it's in there. And then add one gram of the Sun Chlorella Absolute right to the Salsa Verde as well. I've got the salsa and the guacamole with a little bit of cilantro on top ready to go. So let's dive in and see how they taste. Mmm, the taste of the tomatillos in here is so bright. It's got the zing from the onion and the jalapeno. The taste of the chlorella is like a nice nutty overtone. It's really, really delicious. And now it's time to rock the guac. The sweetness of the mango hits you right away. You've got the dense creaminess of the avocado the cilantro, the jalapeno, the onion, but honestly, it's the chlorella that brings everything together as the conductor of this symphony. Sun Chlorella Absolute not only tastes amazing, but it's finely ground, so it's easy to incorporate into any recipe. Plus, it adds essential nutrition to your day, including vitamins, minerals, proteins, antioxidants, and chlorella growth factor, which helps to regenerate new cells. I hope you enjoyed my recipes for salsa verde and guacamole today. If you'd like to try Sun Chlorella Absolute in your kitchen, just click on the link in the description field below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jason Robel, and I'll see you soon with another easy and delicious recipe.